Since opening in 1972, the historic Maybe Center has hosted some of the biggest entertainers in the music industry. The Maybe Center's storied history reflects its total flexibility as a multi-purpose venue with a decorated roster of notable entertainers. In the 1970s, the Maybe Stage hosted great artists such as Amy Grant, Anne Murray, Barry Manilow, the Bee Gees, the Imperials, John Denver, Johnny Cash, Johnny Mathis, Kenny Rogers, Natalie Cole, Neil Diamond, Olivia Newton-John, Sonny and Cher, and Tom Jones. It was also the location of one of Elvis Presley's last performances in 1976. The 80s and 90s were just as grand, featuring such names as the Judds, Lionel Richie, the Oak Ridge Boys, Randy Travis, Roy Clark, Tina Turner, Wayne Newton, Frank Sinatra, Garth Brooks, Hanson, Andy Williams, Kenny G, Merle Haggard, Stephen Curtis Chapman, and Vince Gill. In the last 20 years, the list of great artists continues with Gordon Lightfoot, Kelly Clarkson, Loretta Lynn, Merle Haggard, Luciano Pavarotti, Michael W. Smith, Reba McIntyre, Tony Bennett, Willie Nelson, and Dolly Parton. The Maybe Center has also hosted a variety of acts appealing to all ages. Their family shows include Sesame Street, Harlem Globetrotters, Veggie Tales, and Dora the Explorer, just to name a few. The Maybe Center has also hosted numerous sporting events such as Olympic gymnastic trials, high school basketball playoffs, as well as all of the ORU Golden Eagles men's and women's home basketball games. The Maybe Center has hosted many special events such as the Miss Oklahoma pageant, powwows, and many college and high school commencement ceremonies. Reflecting its association with Oral Roberts University, the Maybe Center's Christian-oriented acts have included Audio Adrenaline, Mercy Me, Michael W. Smith, Amy Grant, Third Day, Skillet, Kirk Franklin, and the Bill Gaither Trio, among many others. The Center's newly launched eMuseum is a fascinating website that takes visitors on a tour through 40 years of musical events held at the Maybe Center. The eMuseum includes a comprehensive list of all concerts and events held in the facility, and eventually converted trophy cases on the main concourse level of the arena will display historic photos and memorabilia. The Maybe Center general manager in 2013, Tony Winters, says, I think the future looks really bright for the arena. People come in and can't believe it's 40 years old. The facility is as good today as it was back in October of 1972. Recognizing all past, present, and future employees and volunteers for their contributions to the concert and event scene in Tulsa and Oklahoma. In 2013, the Maybe Center added to its history by being inducted into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame.